The scheme's been set up to compensate those wrongly treated as illegal immigrants by the Home Office, women like Glenda Caesar and Sonia Williams, who lost their jobs and thousands of pounds worth of earnings and benefits because their citizenship was questioned. The whole country was shocked by the unacceptable treatment experienced by some members of the Windrush generation. But the Home Secretary's words disappointed those who've been waiting more than a year for redress. He announced a process, not a package. There was little detail and not much confidence in the promises made. All the stress you've put me through, you took all that away from me, so now it's time for you to repay me. Don't ask us for more information again and having to go through the paperwork all over again. Uh, you know, like I said, I've, I don't... With me, the government, it, by them doing this, is hoping that we'll get fed up and think, oh, I'm not doing exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. They're just... They're, It'll go away. Exactly. They ain't going to bother to do that. No, we will. Sylvester Marshall says he was denied cancer treatment and made homeless because of Home Office errors. And what did you think when you heard the Home Secretary say that there would be compensation? Yeah, I would feel great about that, but at the same time, it's become a problem because no one knows when they're going to get the compensation or how much they're going to get. People from Commonwealth and non-Commonwealth countries who settled here before 1988 can apply for compensation. The scheme's expected to cost around 200 million, based on 15,000 claims. It'll be open for at least two years. The family of someone who's died can also claim. Within an hour of the scheme opening, Glenda Caesar began the process. Thank you for calling the Windrush Helpline, which is a free phone number. But it felt like all the same questions again, after years of phone calls and letters that have ground her down and yielded nothing. You've got a medical record, yeah. Yeah. they could yeah. find that out without a yeah. look in your face and call you a liar. Just contact the, hospital. the Home Office is promising this scheme will help make amends, but those whose lives have been ruined aren't convinced. Penny Marshall, ITV News, North London.